Welcome back to part 12 of our Luminar 4 training series, which Skylum, who make Luminar, have kindly said I can share with you guys here on this channel. I hope you're enjoying it. This is AI skin retouching, and in particular, one-click skin retouching. So there's a checkbox that you can click, and the idea is it gets rid of spots and blemishes, and it's pretty bloody good at doing it. Um, I have one caveat with this video and I have to apologize. I didn't zoom in as much as I would have liked when I recorded these videos. So if you're watching this on a phone, you're going to really struggle to actually see what's going on. So you may want to check out a different portrait retouching video that I've done with Luminar, which I'll link to here. Um, otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. And as always, uh, thanks so much for watching. Okay, let's kick things off with a photo that my wife took of me. Perfect timing. I, I got the rarest of things. I got a spot at the age of 40. It must have known that I needed to do this tutorial. So let's have a look at what we can do to correct this with me. Come over to the portrait tab here, click that, and we're gonna go into the AI skin enhancer. From here, all you need to do is just simply click the AI skin defects removal checkbox here. Just tick that and just like that, Luminar has corrected this area on my face. So let's zoom in slightly to see what it's done. Here we go, let's turn this off and on. And there you go, it's really done a great job of getting rid of that spot. And if you didn't know it was there in the first place, you wouldn't think anything was amiss. So that looks heaps better before we've even done anything else with any of the other portrait tools in Luminar. Let's move on to another example. Here's a photograph I took of my wife just moments after she took the portrait of me. Um, as you can see that she's got some spots here on her cheeks. Um, she's got a couple of other little blemishes. So let's use the AI skin defects removal tool again within the AI skin enhancer tool. And we're just gonna check that box there and boom, Luminar has done a great job of fixing up the skin straight away. Let's turn that off and on again. And if we wanna take the skin enhancement further, we can now use this amount slider and just start to bring that up and Luminar will work on smoothing out the skin. We could take that to 100%, but I feel that's just a little bit too far, a little bit too plasticky, so we'll just drop that back to somewhere around 50%. And if we toggle off the AI Skin Enhancer, off and on, off and on, we can see that that is a marked improvement on that portrait with very little input from us. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you'd just leave me a like, um, a comment would be even better. Uh, but if you're into photo editing like I am, why not subscribe to the channel? Because I'm here to help and just share any knowledge I can with you guys. So love to have you along for the journey. Thank you. Let's move on to a third example. Okay, now in this basic portrait I shot of my son, I just wanted to capture this because he is literally on the cusp of puberty. He's 11 years old and he's starting to get pimples and redness and the kind of blotches that the AI skin defects removal tool is perfect for. So let's see what it can do to remove these blemishes here. Let's come over and click the box. And just like that, it's done a great job of removing that redness around the nose and a few of those pimples. But there is an issue here, and I want to show you what that is. Just above his eye, if I turn that off again, you'll see he's got a little mole here, and I turn that on, and the AI is justifiably getting confused thinking that might be a spot, which it's not. So what do we do in that situation? Well, here we've got the mask that controls this tool. We can come over and click Edit Mask, choose a brush, we can choose the erase tool because we're going to erase what that tool is doing and we're going to increase the opacity to 100% and what we can do is just literally click on that mole area. Just like that, it's back. So we've got the best of both worlds. We've now cleaned up the skin around his nose and cheek and left the mole in place. Now the AI tool is fantastic at recognizing where spots are but what if it's missed some? So just on his nose here, it has actually missed one. So I'm gonna show you a technique that will allow you to take manual control and do any further cleanup that you may need. So we're gonna come over to this tab here, the canvas tab, click that, and we're gonna to come to the erase tool. 
Luminar will prepare the canvas for using the erase tool. There we go. And what we're going to do is basically paint over any areas that we want Luminar to take care of. So you can control the size of your brush with the bracket keys. Left key makes it smaller, right key makes it bigger. And just for the sake of example, I am actually going to remove um, any moles on his face here. Maybe just clean up under his mouth here. Maybe this little darkness on his chin. We might take a look at cleaning that. Um, Let's go and get rid of that too. And we're just going to click done in the top right corner. You can see now that Luminar has removed the sections that we asked it to and replaced it with perfect skin texture that just blends in seamlessly. So now let's look at our before and after. This was before, this was after. That's a great cleanup. Or we can use this slider tool here to go left and right. So on the right, we have our after before and after just using those few tools we can make somebody's skin in a portrait look as good as it possibly can i really hope you got something out of this tutorial guys and the fact that you've stayed with me right till the end i guess you did and i know i'm sorry i should have zoomed in more on the uh, demonstrations so my apologies for that but in the next video it's going to be a goodie we're going to look at the golden hour and how we can recreate that within luminar 4 so Join me for that video, guys, and thank you very much for watching. See you there.